And Greg, you met a family whose house survived the flames burning all around it. What a story. Mm. It is quite the story, Suzanne. It's the Driscolls. They live in this house right here, still intact. They got to come home to a great house. Interesting to note, they left. They evacuated last night. At the same time, the people across the street evacuated. But uh, the Driscolls came home to their home looking good. And this home with two young, pil two young children uh, was completely destroyed. Patty Driscoll and a neighbor are the lucky ones. Their home survived this. Many of their neighbors on or near North Fairview Avenue in Goleta weren't nearly as fortunate. The holiday fire was just too powerful. Conditions were perfect for this firestorm. Strong winds, extremely dry, and record-setting heat. In some cases, all firefighters could do was watch. It was so hot they couldn't walk on the street. They had to walk on the yards and the, and the neighboring houses. Most of her neighboring houses went up in flames. Driving along what they call Pine Tree Lane, we saw house after house destroyed. She said five families she has known for years lost their homes on this street. I'm devastated for them. I'm feeling fortunate for myself. She and her husband built their dream home here 30 years ago. For 30 years, I thought it was going to happen. Many false alarms through the years until last night. Watching a movie downstairs, her husband smelled smoke. He gets up to the deck and he, go, he looks out and he goes, oh my God. He said, it's the big one. He said, pack up, we're going. This wind-driven fire moves so quickly, trying to escape down the street was dicey. It was lined by fire on either side. It was 10 p.m., but smoke so thick, she couldn't use her headlights. This area around Santa Barbara has been hit so hard over the last seven months. This fire, the huge Thomas fire, followed by deadly mudslides. People living here have had enough. I'm tired of this. We're all tired of this. Come on, Mother Nature. Stop. Be kind. And take a look. This car appears to be in great shape, except at the back end. This fire melted anything that was plastic in the back, and she was right. Boy, this, this part of Southern California has to deal with so much stuff, so much bad stuff over the last seven months, and they're due for some change. Reporting live from uh, Goleta, Greg Mills, CBS 2 News.